YouTube, in my days of being the biggest YouTuber on the platform, I've reviewed many things, both amazing and not so good. And today we're going to be looking at a list of the amazing things, things that I love things that I think were incredible purchases by me and that I'm excited that I own. I'm actually wearing two of them right now, but we'll be talking about boots, t-shirts, shirts like this, a bunch of other interesting things like that. So I'm very excited to do that. Just gotta make sure that I'm not gonna get bit by bugs. By the way, if you're interested in anything on this list, check out the link in my description that starts with carrot so you can find it quickly and easily by just clicking on pictures. Famously, I bought these jeans and I paid $75 for overnight shipping, missing the fact that there was a three month wait time to get the jeans, but when I, they did come, they came overnight. But these are Glenn's denim jeans. Nothing really special about the jeans, but the person that made them is incredibly special. His name is Glenn, he is 62 years old. He used to be a Levi's, well now he may be 65, but he used to be a Levi's master tailor and before that he grew up in Trinidad and always loved heritage workwear and denim and canvas and all that and then finally did his own thing, made his own dream come true, created Glenn's Denim, jeans made in New York, everything is made in the US, even the denim, it comes from a place called Red Lion Denim in Pennsylvania. They don't have a website, I can't find out anything about them, but these are the straightest fit jeans that I own, they're fantastic and Glenn seems like a very cool person that I have found out is impossible to get in contact with. Number two on this list may be the most depressing story you've ever heard in your entire life, so just strap in and get ready. This is the Filson Short Line Tin Cloth Cruiser Jacket. Fantastic jacket. The silhouette of it is absolutely unbelievable to the point where there is one in rough out and one in smooth leather. I want them both. It fits me so well. The fabric is beautiful. It patinas over time incredibly well. It is an alternative to a denim jacket in terms of its flexibility and what you can wear it with and stuff like that. But. In Denmark, Taylor gave me this card that you need to have to get onto the train. It's called a Rizacourt card. And Taylor said to me, Michael, don't lose this card because I need it to get on the train. And I said, okay, Taylor, sounds great. I'll put it in the booby pocket of this jacket. And then I ended up, I lost the entire jacket on my way home to America and it sucks. Oh, and also making this list is the Filson Mackinac Wool Work Jacket. It's not as heavy as their Mackinac Cruiser line or anything like that, but probably my favorite wool jacket if you don't count mine, which is coming soon. But either way, the Filson one is 24 ounce wool. I like the crop length. That's what I like about both of these jackets. Fantastic. I would highly recommend you check them both out. One of the most expensive things on this list are these boots. These are Russell Moccasin back country boots and I love them for two reasons. One, I did a whole video about this, but they are true moccasin construction, so they will last you generations, not a lifetime. Well, there's three reasons. Three, two is the pour on slip sole, which a lot of people don't like that there's a synthetic material in this heritage boot that will last a really long time. But when I'm hiking and I'm jumping off things and doing all this sick parkour tricks and stuff, I like to have more cushion because I want to have more protected knees. And three, these are the most beautiful boots I think in my collection. I'll make a video about my boot collection one day. These obviously rival it, but these are shoes. But these shoes, I just think they look absolutely stunning. I have two pairs of these puppies, one in a brown suede, the other in this smooth black leather. They're amazing. And when I first got these puppies, everybody said, those are weird. I don't like them. And they made fun of me. But now all those same people look like stupid idiots because they're sold out and they're never coming back. But these are Knickerbocker X Frat Cap collaboration shoots, shoe boots. Frat Cap does just exist as a brand. So they make a lot of stuff that's similar. But these are kind of the perfect blend of shoes that I would wear while hiking that are also heritage style. Everything about these I love. They're super comfortable. They broke in really fast. They're resolable so you can wear them for a super long time or just even change the soles if you'd like. Everything about them I highly recommend. Frat Cap still has a lot of amazing collaborations that I really like, especially this one with End Clothing. Fantastic. So you may have noticed I'm wearing a wild t-shirt today. I am doing a t-shirt video literally tomorrow. I effed up with the sponsors, so I had to do two videos in a row. Trying to figure out sponsors, it's hard to figure out. But either way, while we're on the subject of t-shirts, there are one t-shirt and one brand that I think you should check out. Number one, Standard & Strange's Wakayama Loop Wheel t-shirt. This is an in-house brand from Standard & Strange. It's fantastic. If you don't know what a loop wheel t-shirt is, you probably aren't familiar with Japanese denim, but it is made of a fabric where the yarns undergo no tension when it's being made, so it makes this really spongy feeling fabric that is also tougher than normal fabric that holds its shape better. Not a very popular process of making a shirt because it is incredibly slow so prices and all that stuff go up. This is my favorite loop wheel t-shirt by far. I should would put an asterisk there. And the brand that I'm going to recommend by my good friend Bayzad is Wonderlooper and they just 
they did their thing. Bezad, you probably know from the brand Naked and Famous, a very famous denim brand. His wife, Risa, also is like a cotton savant. Put them together, you have one of the best t-shirt brands in the entire world, if not the best. They just dropped an Ultimate Pima shirt, but we'll get to that literally tomorrow. Okay, next up on this list may not make much sense because I've only owned one product from them and it's this product, it's a $220 t-shirt, but S.E.H. Kelly has to be my favorite brand right now, even though I don't own a lot of stuff from them, they are fantastic. From the way they take their photos, to the way that they write about their products, to the information they give you, to the style they have, it's very old world tailoring style, so it's not like the heritage stuff that I usually wear, but it's a clean cut version of a product that I would buy. I love reading about how they made all the clothes. But either way, everything about SEH Kelly, I'm a massive fan of. It just looks like master craftspeople doing exactly what they love. Two things. One, I hesitate to put this specific item on this list for a reason I'll tell you about in a second. Two, there is a sponsor after this item, and then we'll go back to regular scheduled program. And three, here is the item. It is from a brand called Noah NYC. It is their cotton crew neck sweater. It's amazing quality, very beefy. You can wear it to any event. I absolutely love mine, but the person that owns Noah NYC is Brandon Babenzian. Zion. He's a very cool guy, very stylish guy. I believe I saw him in New York and I was wearing a really cool outfit and he gave me an up and down. Either way, it was him or someone that thought I was deserving of an up and down. But I hesitate to recommend this sweater to you, even though I said it's fantastic because I think it retails for like $228. It does go on sale on Noah NYC a lot for like $115 or something like that. But Brandon also is the creative director for J. Crew, And now J. Crew has like the, essentially the same sweater. This black one that you're seeing is J. Crew. The white one is Noah NYC. Construction looks very similar. Maybe the Noah NYC one is built a tiny bit better, but the one on J. Crew I got for like 50 bucks on sale. And I was like, no, well, it's a very basic thing, so it's not like it's a crazy patented design or anything like that. But I kind of hesitate to recommend the Noah one, and I would probably recommend the J. Crew one, unless you want top of top of the line. But they're both constructed really well. These are the New Balance 550s. Very hype sneakers at one point. Now I don't believe they are. People bought the shoes as an investment. And that reminded me of our sponsor, Masterworks. What is Masterworks? I am quite glad you asked. Have you ever thought to yourself, hmm, I wish I could invest in a Picasso, a Banksy, or Monet, but I don't have five or $10 million laying around. Well, guess what? A lot of other people have thought that too. About 750,000 people. And Masterworks basically says, hey, 750,000 people, how about we all put a little money in and buy a painting together and then when it goes up in value we sell that painting to make money. Masterworks has sold over 45 million dollars in art. They've had 14 exits so far and have distributed net returns to their investors. People are always looking for different ways to diversify their portfolio and at one point they have probably stumbled across the art market. Now Masterworks makes it easier than ever to invest into that market. With over 750,000 people signed up for Masterworks there is a way List, but if you would like to skip the waitlist, you can check out the link in my description and sign up today. Thank you so much, Masterworks, for sponsoring this video. Couldn't buy all these expensive clothes without you. I guess I didn't really listen to the topic of this video too well because this is actually a great deal, but footwear from a South African brand called Jim Green. Above and beyond expectations, shout out to Gareth, he sent me basically every boot that I could want from Jim Green. But the reason they're on this list is because they're built really well, they have a very cool story that you should see a video from Roseanneville or Carl Murawski on, and they also just look fantastic. They're a little wider in the feet, but I don't mind that, even though I have very, very slim and narrow feet. The Vele is like a beefed up Clark's Desert boot, the Razorback is a very, very good hiking boot, like an actual hiking boot, and then the Outback is like a... It's not technically a beefed up version of a Blundstone because they're constructed differently and the Blundstone's probably more water resistant. Either way, they're fantastic. None of this stuff in this video is paid for or anything like that. I highly recommend them even though Gareth sent them to me for free. This next thing up isn't particularly expensive and it's not a crazy interesting thing, but it does exactly what I want and looks exactly how I want and I find myself being a bit excited to wear it because it gives off an older world look compared to a t-shirt, has more structure so it doesn't stick to me when it's really hot outside. But this is the Easy Hemp shirt from Wellen, which is with Huckberry somehow, some way. Fantastic, it's only 10% hemp, so I would call it the easy organic cotton shirt with some hemp, but either way. Fantastic, very simple, very old world. You could buy it when you're 20 and wear it until you're 90 and nobody would say a word. I like that. All right, so next up is really, it's more of a brand at large, but I do have a lot of their pieces. The brand is called Wythe, and the reason that I like the brand is because it feels like this summer camp that I've never been to. I worked as a camp counselor, and I would not glorify it that much. I did have some great times, but I definitely wouldn't 
make clothes about it. But the clothes that Wythe makes are really fantastic and they don't have white, they have off-white, which I'm always a huge fan of because it adds a lot of warmth for me. So I really like everything that they put out. But more specifically, my favorite things are the Camp Friendly Pines Jacquard Overshirt. This is probably the flagship example of what I'm talking about. The Indigo Cotton Linen Button Down Shirt, the Donegal Corduroy Five Pocket Pants. And finally, I don't have this yet, but maybe I will get it one day, is their Western Tooled Bag. It is a $700 leather tote bag that looks brilliant. That just about does it for me. This is not an exhaustive list. There's a ton of other brands that I didn't mention. So if you like this video, I'll do another one. If you want to see stuff that I regret buying, I feel bad. I feel like I'll be being mean to those brands. But either way, thank you so much for watching. I will see you literally tomorrow. Don't forget, another video tomorrow, and then I'll straighten out how to run a YouTube and clothing empire, and I, I won't double up videos again. But either way, it'll be a fun video. So can't wait to see you then.